guys, so I am filming a vlog. I was thinking of doing like a weekly vlog um, and then maybe I could post it on Thursdays, I was thinking, and I can call it perhaps Vlurg's Day. Vlogs day, vlog day. You want to start doing some makeup tutorials, especially because Comic Con's coming up, and so is Halloween. So I was figuring I could do maybe some cosplay makeup tutorials, or I don't know, just any kind of cool costume tutorials. Uh, let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see. Um, but right now, I am. I have one in mind that I'm gonna do. I'm so excited about it. And I hope it comes out really good. I'm envisioning it really well in my mind, so I'm hoping that it's gonna come out really well. Workout bar right there. A police box sign. A pumpkin sign. I will always follow fall decorations. This is. Our art, Jesse painted this, he, we made that, he painted that. I did the ship on there. Uh, it's not painted, it's just like an image transfer and then Jesse kind of did the black around and then he did that and that and we have that up there. That is there and then my house is a mess. Don't mind it, but that was my coffee and then this is our fall decorations. We got this kind of anthropology. We made these candles with cinnamon sticks. Um, and Xbox is up, but nothing is gone. And currently, the game I'm playing is Fallout. Anyway, back to my costume looks. Uh, I have one that I'm really excited about that I'm envisioning, um, so I hope it comes out as well as in my mind. There's a $5 shoe store near my house. Uh, all of the shoes there are $5, so I'm hoping to go buy a pair of fake Converse's because I'm, they're not gonna have real Converse's there. Um, for my look that I want to do, it requires Converse's and I want to buy cheap shoes because I have to kind of write on them and I don't want my actual shoes that I would wear all the time to be expensive and I don't want to ruin a good pair of shoes. So, with that being said, we will blow out these candles. <laughs> Ooh, that took a long time. There's Emma. She's playing with me. I feel like if I did a weekly vlog, ugh, all that candle smoke, it's like getting in my, I'm like ugh, inhaling all that candle smoke, oh god. I don't know, I think I, I want to do weekly vlogs, but I just feel like my life isn't interesting enough to be doing weekly vlogs, so I don't know if anybody would even actually watch me. With that being said, I'm going to go find my keys because I didn't find them anywhere, so I can leave and we will go to the $5 warehouse store. I think I need to get like a steady cam and because I'm sure this is probably really shaky and there's people approaching me this way so I'm gonna stop talking to myself. It's just FaceTime, that's all it is. I thought this would be a quiet vlog of the lockdown, uh, but there was a lot of people coming this way. Uh, I've never been on this block before, and I lived in Brooklyn my whole life. But, uh, so the $5 warehouse didn't have any shoes I was looking for, all well, the specific pair of shoes that I was looking for, so I'm gonna try one more place, and with Brooklyn you just walk everywhere because I don't have a car. Um, and there's a willow tree over here. My friend used to live there. This is actually walking up the hill right now because the train let's turn around. The train station is right here. Um, I'll show you the train station. This is the end train. So I just got back from the store and I hope that the quality is okay. I was using the front facing camera. 
so I don't know how this is gonna be either in comparison. Um, but the shoe store didn't have what I wanted, and then the second place that I went to that I thought might have it didn't have it either. But I did buy nothing special. Hey guys, uh, don't mind the video, it's probably a little dark. It's nighttime, and I'm laying down, and uh, I don't have any makeup today. That's my face with no makeup. Um, so I have an appointment with the cry cry chiropractor. It hurts me to laugh. Um, chiropractor tomorrow, and I've never been before. So I have a really bad back. I have two herniated discs in my lower spine. Um, everything is all in my lower spine. Uh, I have two herniated discs, I have arthritis, and I also have a degenerative spine, a degenerative spine, um, as well as narrowing of the spine, so, um, usually for the most part my back is okay, like, I think because, I don't know if it's because I'm young that I feel like my body kind of bounces back, um, Pretty quickly but for the past two years my back has been getting thrown out really easily um, so today I was laying with Emma who is my kitchen right here she's right there and Tommy is right there we're both keeping the company and um I was laying with her and she was laying on my chest today and then I completely, I like sneezed and I felt like three pops in my back and then I like couldn't move. I like couldn't move at all and I was trying to, it was hurting so bad but like me being still was really painful and I had to like readjust myself but I couldn't because I was getting such a bad spasm in my back, so I decided to lay on the floor to try to maybe stretch my back out a little bit, and then I was on the floor for like an hour. I couldn't get up, um, and I'm home by myself today. Jesse's at work, so I was kind of like stuck on the floor for like an hour, and I was not sure if I should maybe call it ambulance or something. I thought I would be okay. Um, I thought I just need to get some time. Cancel! I can't really go to the bathroom, and I really have to go to the bathroom, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to wait for Jesse to get home, but I think he gets home in like two hours, and I don't know if I can wait that long. Um, but I've never been to a chiropractor before, and I always kind of was trying to avoid them because I feel like there's like, I don't know, a lot of people say they're good, a lot of people say they're bad, and I just always felt like chiropractors just make you go back to them over and over like they don't really solve your issues but at this point I'm like at my wits end with my back so I found on Groupon um a deal for five adjustments for I think it was like $45 which is way better than I thought it was gonna be I think I just also avoided the chiropractor because I don't have health insurance and I thought that so Jesse just called me and interrupted my train of thought so i've been laying on this couch all day i can't really move all that much so i'm really hoping that tomorrow um the chiropractor helps hey i'm with jesse and i just i was totally gonna vlog me going to the chiropractor and i forgot i'm sorry um but i just went over to the chiropractor and it totally made my back feel straighter. Um, I still have a little bit of pain, but I'm supposed to go back on Friday. And we're in Strawberry. Ooh, look at this pretty area. We're in Central Park right now. So I just want to let you guys know I went to the chiropractor. Look at this. Baby breath. Jesse's collecting rocks. What? Bark. Bark. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these we just we just passed um, Strawberry, like the memorial site for John Lennon, the Imagine flowers. I should vlog it. I feel like I should go walk back over there and vlog it. But I took a picture, so I'll just put a picture in, in the video. 
Um, and then there was a guy playing one of the Beatles songs on a guitar. It was actually a really nice moment. I should have vlogged it. I'm a turd. I'm sorry. I never come to Central Park. I really like it here. Oh, you should take that pine cone. The mayor wants to ban horses, but New York City was like, that. Yeah. Just all collectively as like a, what? This is a New York tradition, you like don't break it. Or something? Yeah. What? what? I, I, I don't think that there should be horses in like Times Square. Make sure there's no bugs on it. I don't want no creepy friendlies in my bag. Friendlies? Yeah, little friendlies. We were really afraid of them, you wouldn't call them friendlies. <laughs> No, you can put them in there. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we'll only get termites in my bag. Those are always nice. <laughs> They're the friendliest of them. <laughs> yeah, they eat all the wood for you. So you don't have to. That's why my appendix is there. <laughs> I don't think that they should be in Times Square. But I think here it's nice for them. I don't think they have right? horse rides. No, the police ride on the horses. But they weren't banning police horses, they were banning the... But they shouldn't even have, that, I'm saying that they shouldn't even have horses allowed in Times Square because well, there's so much traffic there. Liam Neeson was in charge of the uh, advocacy for these horses, so you know, he's no joke. Well, wait, yeah. let's, let's let like this your, horse pass us. I want to see the horse, thank you. Look at the like, if you take me I will find you. I will kill you.